I used to think this plant was my enemy, but when the drought hit, it was the first plant to come back and it started fixing the soil before I did anything. We're taught to despise them, pulling them out, but weeds like these are actually nature's repair crew. Let me prove it. Growing food is challenging, even in perfect conditions, but now extreme weather is making it nearly impossible. Nutrients wash away and nothing takes root except for this guy. Why do these pioneering weeds survive where nothing else will grow? Like this sickle pod, they produce masses of seed and their seed can remain viable in the soil for many, many years, waiting for the right conditions to germinate. They are not stealing nutrients from the soil, they are emergency responders. Here's why their living root system actively rebuilds the soil structure. But more critically, they immediately provide two essential things. Number one, the solar panels. These green leaves are essential for photosynthesis, the planet's primary tool for removing CO2 from the atmosphere. Number two, weeds are the catering crew. They actively feed the true heroes of soil restoration. That's the microbes and all of the other essential life in our soil. Without this immediate injection of energy and nutrients, soil organisms don't have the resources to repair the nutrient cycle, to rebuild the soil structure and provide all of the other essential ecological services. Consequently, we don't create the soil conditions that enable the other less resilient um, plants to move in. This natural recovery system is now more vital than ever, providing the crucial defence to recover from increasingly extreme weather events. And as it happens, we're not just fixing our soil, we're also tackling a devastating global problem. The world's biggest carbon sinks, the Amazon and the boreal forests, are now overwhelmed, releasing more carbon than they absorb. Worse, agriculture and urban development is creating new carbon sources globally. In this battleground, to win the war against carbon, we must first win the battle for our soil. That's where the repair crew comes in. They are the ultimate ecological power tools for, for restoration. Weeds alone cannot replace the photosynthetic capacity of those forests. However, they are desperately needed. To have any chance of getting these forests and other struggling vegetation absorbing carbon again, we first need to repair the degraded land beneath them. That foundational work is the ultimate task of nature's repair crew. So stop pulling them out and let them flourish. Then simply chop them down and leave the material where it falls. Your soil organisms quickly devour the fallen materials using those vital resources that you harvested to get the, your soil ecosystem running on all cylinders. This simple act of giving weeds a job makes it easier for us to grow more photosynthetic panels and a wider diversity of plants. The more diversity we cultivate, the faster the soil heals. And this ripple effect stimulates a richer and more resilient underground community that rapidly restores the soil's health. This is how we stop focusing on the crisis and start focusing on the solution. By letting nature rebuild our land's climate resilience and turning our soil back into a powerful carbon sink.